do is we're going to refill this CO2 bottle. First thing you got to do is release the pressure safety valve. You can hear the sound. Then you open the big one. As soon as it's calmed down a bit. There we go. Still a lot of pressure in there. That's the secondary uh, relief valve inside. Completely empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the scale on. It's on tar, so basically this plate and everything comes out to zero. So we're going to add this ice to it. We're going to weigh out 400 grams of dry ice because 400 grams is what, well 410 net weight, 14.5 ounces or 410 grams. Disclaimer. Wear gloves and safety glasses. When you're handling dry ice. Yep. Oops, I so forgot these little tongs here. You don't want to touch this with the exposed skin at 249. Oh, it's actually a lot of dry ice, isn't it? It's a ton of it. All right, we're at 416. I'm just gonna go a bit over. All right. Because it sublimates, it, okay. over time it loses its uh, mass, its volume. So from here we put the funnel inside here, like so. Mm-hmm. And we just scoop this stuff out. Put it inside here. Very time consuming. It takes a long time. So sometimes it gets jammed up. You just gotta get a pen or a pencil and just something just to press it down. That's good. Did it go down? Yep. To demonstrate properly, this is how I should be doing it. That's with these, right. With these Those are the gloves. winter gloves. It's just really hard to maneuver. Do. How long does the dry ice? Last, once you get it. In a cooler? In a cooler. Two to three days. Wow, this takes forever. It's about halfway done almost. Not the best view. Oops. Now I really screwed up. What happened? Because the pen fell inside here. I keep on rolling. I'll try to get the pen out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. No, I haven't cut, don't oh, worry. Oh, look at that, that was easy. Yeah, I didn't think it would easy. be that complicated. I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, so we solved the pro pen problem. The pen problem. Okay, let's uh, do a temperature test. Okay. So it says low. Low. So that's beyond its measurement uh, range. Let's how, do this. How, how far Minus does... 40. What's well, warm up here? Nine to 10 degrees. I think you see the point for the pen? There you go, Jamie. All done. Awesome. Almost. I'll get it frost up. It's yep. getting crazy frosty. Okay, so the next step is we got to screw this thing back on. Okay. Actually, what we'll do first is tighten the relief valve. Nice and tight. Make sure that black rubber gasket's intact and not damaged. Screw this back on, you can hear the air escape. Yep. Or the CO2, I should say. Get it nice and tight. There, done. That's how you fill a CO2 cylinder. Awesome. Cheaper way. Yeah, cheaper, well, much cheaper way. And it's cold, but I can still touch it. Right, it doesn't burn your hands or anything. Nope. And I'm not very good with cold weather. No, you're not. Okay, so what I like to do is take the CO2 cylinder and wrap it in a towel. It contains the moisture, condensation. Mm -hmm. Wrap it up nice and tight. And wait till it's done. Maybe four to six hours till it does its thing. 